What's up? My name is Eddie Taffy. I'm about to get chopped up with Chop Talk TV. This is big business. I don't keep skull, and this ain't that. Chop Talk TV, this ain't that. You know this big business and for sure we ain't keeping no scope. Man, we got the pop sensation in the building. Eddie Tapia, what's up, little bro? What's up? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, how are you? You looking good, bro. Looking Thank real you. good, man. I'm getting, got I'm getting my hair chopped right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all this up here. What's all that up there, man? What's all this, man? You got you got a whole lot of that going on. Yeah, I grow a lot of hair up, up, up there. Your hair grow fast? It grows really fast. Like, yep, it grows really fast. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Where you from, Eden? I'm originally from a little town in Washington State. Washington State. A little town called Mansfield. Mansfield. Yeah, and now I'm here in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, man. How you like being uh, in the Midwest, man? The, the gateway to the West. I love it. There's love a lot I'm learning. There's a lot. It's different from where I'm from. I'm yeah. learning a lot. I oh, meet yeah. a lot of new people, which is cool. I'm having a lot of fun. That's good. And doing new things, it's awesome. That's what's up. What's the What's the big difference, you know, from where you're from and being here? What's like the culture shock really that um, impacts you? I'd say people here. I'd say the difference is that. <clears throat> Thing. I don't know. Um, people are more, they're just more, a little bit more tougher here. You just a little more tough? <laughs> yeah, more, yeah. More, a little more tough there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no doubt about that now. You got to have some tough skin to be in, uh, in St. Louis, for real, yeah. though. That's good, though. That's good. When did you start getting off into the music, man? Because right now you're going crazy, bro. You you, you you headed to that Justin Bieber level, boy. You're going you to be <laughs> turning it up. So when I uh, four years ago, I'm 18 now. When I was 14, I I had a crush on a girl and I, I was uh, singing to her and I want I want to learn I want to learn how to sing and play guitar for her. So oh, that, that's when dope. I did when I learned for her, I fell in love with music oh, and that's dope. got picked up by a record label. And now I'm out here doing my thing. That's what's up. Now that's wrong. Now if that ain't a, a good fucking rollout story, <laughs> for, you know what I'm saying for the fans. Are you still talking to that girl? Do you still know her? Nah. Oh, uh, yeah. I think ah. she blocked me. Yeah, yeah, she, no. <laughs> she, she blocked me. Mad, I think she blocked me. Yeah, I'm here. I know she hella mad now. She like, oh, damn. I should have stayed with him. You know, man. Man. <laughs> Did you um, have just a natural voice? Because you seem like you just have a natural, good singing voice. and you just I don't started. know. I used to beatbox, though. And when I beatbox, I tried to compare. I tried singing and beatboxing at the same time. For real? Yeah, and then people on online told me you actually have a good singing voice and then from there i was like looking up singers and then i liked their voice and i wanted to sing and then i tried like i said tried singing for my girl and then yeah. <laughs> now, but now you know since you're getting in there with the big boys you know this you got to keep the throat yeah, clear that's and right. drinking tea yep. and vocal warm-ups crazy vocal warm-ups i got a vocal coach yeah and yeah Constantly warming up my voice, yeah. constantly singing. How uh, how do your parents like take gravitate to since you you know being getting into the industry? And at stuff? first they didn't. At first they were like, you know, like every parent you know get a real job or whatever. Yeah. But they were still supporting me. They were still supporting me, and then they're they're really proud of me now. Yeah, because when they start seeing how serious yeah. it is, and you. Yeah, mm -hmm. when they saw it was serious, hey, that's when they were supporting. You know what I'm saying? You going out of town, flying and getting shit yeah. done. They like, oh, okay, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna get crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, most definitely. What it was like growing up in, uh, in Washington State, though. What is well, uh, like I said, I'm in a little town. I, I grew up around like wheat fields, cornfields. So yeah. every single morning, I feed the chickens with my sisters, and uh, that's what's up. So though. yeah, kind of live like the like the farm life. No, nah, that's good though. That's, that's cool good. though. Yeah, that's dope, bro. And I get really? free eggs every day. So. <laughs> free eggs. That's yeah. what's up. That's so what you do for action? Like, what y'all do uh, for just like you know kicking the shits? Like, what y'all do? Tip cows and shit? Like, like what what people do in the country for fun? Mm, yeah, mainly just. Or what do you do to get in trouble and out? In, you know, out in the oh. farm life. Like, what's um, some shit y'all do to get in trouble? Uh, we like we sometimes we jump on top of roofs on the, in the stores. Like, uh, jump off, jump on the roofs because it was easy to climb. Well, yeah. I so at some, nighttime we hang on top. We some, hang uh, out on top of the what's roof. What's that? Uh, 
Pokar, Pokar type shit. Huh? You, know, you know what that, what is it called? P Pokar? Pokar? Parkour. Parkour. We did parkour a lot, actually, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. I love, I love parkour. That shit too. hard, bro. I've been, man, I've just seen some dudes that's really fucking good at that. I'm talking about, like, jumping 20 and 30 feet, doing twists and landing on their feet. That's that, what I wanted to do. For real? Flips, yeah. And, you know, you, you know, you're a small frame guy, so you, you can get into those little tight spaces. I wasn't spaces. back then, though. Oh, you wasn't? No, I was actually pretty chubby back then. For real? But what made me want to do parkour is I was playing video games like Assassin's Creed, and they did parkour a lot, so me and my friends wanted to do parkour. That's what's up. That's what's good, man. So we climbed up story roofs and everything. What social media apps you be uh you be kind of being on a lot? like where Instagram, most? Snapchat, and TikTok. TikTok. Which yeah. one do you like be on the most that you like that mm -hmm. you just be like, man, they, this motherfucker lit. It's lit. Like every time I jump on her, it's just lit. Probably, uh, probably Instagram. Just Instagram, the gram. Yeah. yeah, the gram still go crazy. Yeah, yeah. But but TikTok go crazy too, TikTok bro. TikTok goes really crazy. Yeah. Man, they be going crazy on TikTok. I ain't even gonna lie. I got on my live on TikTok and it just people just start watching. I'm like, man, what yeah. the hell? Matter of fact, my uh, Duke just found a new app where it's like a live TV and uh. Oh me. It's called On Me, On Me oh, TV. On Me. Yeah, and, and it's like live television. You can just flip and turn it, man. I'm telling you, check it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to start on you. On Me TV. Yeah, On Me TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to definitely check it out, bro. I think you should do. You see it? That's Umegle. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know about that? You Wait, see? Wait, that's when you chat with random people? Yeah, you see how it's just it's What's just up? it's just live and they see what we got going on. Yeah, this is dope, bro. I'm like, yeah, so this. Yeah, and see how they can just turn if they don't want to watch what we got going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah so oh, definitely get on. What's up? Yeah, what's up, bro? Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. So, so definitely, you know, get on top of that. That's gonna bring you some more followers and some more fans, and you know what I'm saying. I thought that was a mega team. So what you got going on for the closing the year out, man? You know, we Christmas time coming up, then you got New Year's. So like, what you what you got going on, man? What's gonna get well, ready right to take now, place? We're uh, right now we're working on a project. We're working on an album for Disney. Working on an album and for Disney. We That's got big. tour dates set up, and I'm just I'm just wait, I'm just enjoying the ride now. I'm ready for a tour. That's big, bro. Yeah. Disney, bro. That's that's what's up, bro. Yeah, yeah it's that's... a whole team thing. I have a big I have a really good team and. They're all really bringing the best out of me and getting me. Uh, they're they're getting me right. That's good, bro. That's yeah. that is really that is really good. How did you uh, how did you get discovered? Who who found you, bro? Like, I was on I was on Ubo on the on an app called Ubo. I went live and I was singing for people and they said that they liked my voice and then they introduced me to a DJ and the DJ introduced me to to my manager and then I got signed. Oh yeah, damn, yeah. man. That, see, people be wanting the type of motion that you got. It just went from uh 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 uh, and you know. But I'm, I ain't gonna lie. You got that look. You got that that swag. You got that that commercial look. So it's kind of like you destined for it. Like some people have to really work into it, but you just kind of like automatically got it. When I see yeah. you, you got the voice. You really nice sounding. All the young ladies is gonna be acting crazy, bro. Yo, tour bus and fucking backstage gonna be, bro. Yo, you might as well go ahead and call you a, the mountain. I know a guy named the mountain. He's Bow Wow's. I mean, Jermaine Dupree's bodyguard. He like six nine, four hundred pounds. You gonna need something like that, bro. We we got a we got a big security guy. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. How big is he? Really big. He's really he big. He has like a he has like a big cigar and he wears like a big giant chain. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has like a scary looking face. Well, when you heard about the Disney deal, was it you know was it just kind of like overwhelming for you? Were you just like? Yeah, Man. my dream is to be on Disney. So. That's what's up, bro. That's good. You got any brothers and sisters? I do. I was raised by girls my whole life, so I'm the only guy in the family. The only boy in the family? Yeah. The family jewels, yeah. huh? <laughs> but they got me straight with, like, skincare and stuff. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I learned a lot about hair products and skincare. Oh, ah, look at you. You on, you on your pretty boy swag, huh? I ain't mad at you. I ain't, I ain't mad at you, bro. I ain't mad at you.
please like, share, and subscribe.